Hi everybody, uh, this is Johnny Amos uh, from the Song Lab in Birmingham in England. Um, I'm not much of a product reviewer but I am here to do a product review today of the IGS Audio 576. Uh, the reason I decided to do a review on this by the way is because I've been uh, quite fascinated by this uh, 500 series model uh, of the 576 and I, I can't find any reviews online. It's currently August, almost September 2016 at the minute I can't find any reviews online of it so I thought I'd be do the good, noble thing and put a review out myself in case it helps any other uh, producer, engineers like myself. Um, so, uh, first off, I, you know, I, what I was looking for was a, a, a tracking compressor or something I can use as a tracking compressor to sit inside this juice rack here, so a little kind of uh, three module size um, 500 series unit that I can use here in the studio and also take portably elsewhere and use. So, so that's what I was looking for out of this model. Um, I've also tried uh, a number of different 1176 type compressors, so FET type compressors that will work as a vocal tracker. And of course, they, you know, they all work great, but it's all down to personal taste as to what you think works best and whatever. I was fascinated by this one. This one is the, uh, the IGS 576, everybody. Look at that. That's going to look very, very, very cool in your rack. <laughs> it's got uh, uh, a VU... Uh, meter in there it's also built into one of you know like a whole kind of chassis system Don't, not all of these units do that so that's kind of a sign of quality I think um, I'm gonna bring it up so you can see this you've got all the stuff that you'd expect it to be in here so you've got your input your output just like you would do on a regular uh, 1176 you've got an attack you release and you've just got your in and out there and then you've got all your ratios on here now I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna zoom in right into that because they've actually got a two to one on here um, which I wasn't sure they were going to do, but they have. Um, and then there's S mode down here, which is slam mode. So in other words, that's uh, all buttons in mode, which works really, really, always worked really well on the blue stripes for like pop rock vocals and stuff like that. So it's clever how they've kind of built that into this. If they wanted all the buttons, it probably wouldn't have fitted into this size. So it's a very clever choice. Um, the, the difference between this is based on the revision A, so the difference between this and some of the other revisions of 1176s uh, is the attack time, effectively. There's other, other things as well, but the attack time, mega, mega, mega fast attack time. And that's something which I've struggled with with other 1176 units is that the attack time just isn't quite strong enough and you end up just adding a little bit too much colour or whatever. So this, uh, yeah... It, it looks good, doesn't it? As I say, it'll look nice in that rack. Okay, that's enough of my waffle. Uh, let's hear how it sounds. It's another morning. I am late again. There's nothing else to say but sorry. Yesterday there seemed so many hours left, but now I have to go away. There are a thousand silly reasons, but only one can really mean. Please stay another plane, another airport, another breakup. Forever or for a while, another day. I promise you would say that's another lie to say easily goodbye. I'm so tired of listening that every day is given only once. Yesterday there seemed so many hours left, but now I have to go away. There are a thousand silly reasons, but only one could mean. Please stay in our plane, in our airport, in our breakup. Forever, or for a while, another day. I promise you would stay. That's another lie to say easily goodbye. Back again. Uh, I hope that. Uh, 
I don't know how good the sound quality was for you, depends upon your playback equipment, I guess, as well. But um, it's, here's what I got from that, just from hearing it through the studio monitors, was uh, there's a lack of colorization, right? Now, that's a good thing, in my opinion, because the Revision A's have always had a lot of uh, character and color to them, and I didn't want to get something which was going to override, you know, a vocal take or a guitar take with just too much color. I'm surprised by the lack of colour in this, right? But that it, it depends what you're looking for. But for me, that's a good thing. You can really drive it with the output like you always could with 1176s. Um, I also noticed a mid-range peak around two, two, two and a half, three k, which really, really had a nice little boost when you when you brought up the input on it. Um, maybe that's it's it's always subjective with these things. I quite I quite like that because if you're using the right mic, you can really help to kind of add a bit more clarity to a vocal take uh, with that. Uh, I like the slam mode. Um, I only used it a little bit in this review, but the slam mode's quite useful, uh, especially for like a kind of a pop rock vocal where you just want all buttons in, boom. Um, hearing a vocal in isolation like that, you can't really hear what the slam thing's doing, but uh, in, in the context of loud guitars and drums and stuff, it, it really does make a big difference. Anyway, so like I said at the start of the video, there's no... Um, there's not many videos and reviews out on this. It's a pretty new product. Um, I, I love this product. I think it's amazing. I think IGS are just, you know, anything that IGS audio do just have like a seal of quality on it. Um, so that's why I was encouraged to see what they've done with this. I think that I think they've done an amazing, amazing job. So if you're looking for a uh, tracking compressor that can fit into something like this and travel around with you, you're going to be hard pushed to find something that can do the 1176 blue stripe job better than this model. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. I'm sure the sound quality has probably been a bit disappointing, but I'm not a video maker, I'm a record producer, so hopefully in some small way this has helped. If not, you know, that's fine. But <laughs> all the best with all you do, and uh, thanks for watching.